disembodied orgasm hippo is not fixed yet because, and I'll tell you why, without knocking over my light. Um, I don't know what kind of batteries it takes, and I can't find out because I don't have a Phillips head screwdriver that's that small. So I don't know how to crack him open to find out what kind of batteries he needs. So I'm going to have to acquire a very, very small Phillips head screwdriver at some point um, so I can crack him open. But, you know, he's okay. He oh, just, yeah, you'll definitely have to do that. He's quickly. just gone mute. Quickly. As hey, as maybe I'll get him possible. fixed in time for Lindsay's party. Yeah, I'm going to be in New York. On the, but I'm a little worried somebody will try to steal him if I bring him to Lindsay's party. Oh, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. I hope. He's very oh, precious God. to me. My precious. Please, Lord. Why you gotta be hating? Why you gotta be hating? Because I think so. I know you're a grumpy old man who doesn't like things, but why you gotta be hating? Hey, fuck you. I'm sorry that, you know, they don't love you as much as they do disembodied orgasm hippo, but we've all got problems in this life. He doesn't have a body. So, yeah, um, we have some interesting things tonight and a grand finish that I'm so happy because it was sort of inevitable. Monkeys again? No, 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 no. It's because when you're happy, it's usually monkeys. No, you'll you'll see. It's it's awful. And it's it's yes, so. Let's get the jingle set up. Come on. There we go. Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff. Brings it back here. A little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And this first one, we're back to. I'm crazy. Romance, but not not exact. Bad romance. Yeah, that's a way to put it. So, um, you've seen all the people who go out of their way. And let me fix the screen because the screen is. Good. Yeah, yeah. See how the people who go out of their way to make uh, interesting and and special proposals, right? Mm -hmm. they, they try to to make make it you know memorable so that so that that their significant other really appreciates all the effort they went through. Like ordering a ten thousand dollar Pizza Hut package, or faking putting their life in danger. Violet proposes with plane crash prank. One man's airborne proposal took his girlfriend's breath away when he pretended that their small plane was in trouble and asked her to read an emergency checklist that contained instructions for a quote ring engagement procedure. Groom to be was filmed the has filmed the entire episode on hidden camera. He posted the video in Decent Proposal on YouTube. Look, I love a pun as much as the next guy. No. The man, Ryan Thompson, was flying his girlfriend, Carly Kennedy, on a breathtaking flight above Chicago. Um, at first two are scry are smiling, they appear happy, and the sky forms a brilliant backdrop. Um, after a short while, the pier plane appears to shake and Carly's smile falters. Um, in the video, Kennedy appears clearly shaken, but she complies with the request to uh, to to read the instructions and she gets the ring instruct. Oh, good Lord. I genuinely did believe that we were going to die, she said. I felt like our lives depended on me making it through the checklist. And the punchline is. She said yes. You do not say yes. You do not marry somebody. I mean, maybe this is just me because I really hate flying. I do not like airplanes. They freak me out and scare me. So if someone did this to me, I would kill him until he was dead. And then possibly more. I would kill him a lot. I don't like what the fuck is with these guys and these douchey proposals? Like a couple weeks ago, we had the guy who faked his own death to show her what life would be like without him. Well, fuck you, douchebag. Now we got this guy who's like, oh, we might die. Marry me. She could have had a fucking heart attack. Right? And died and shit. You know, it's a lot less romantic a proposal when the girl you're proposing to has shit her pants. <laughs> 
and soiled herself. Mm. Kind of takes you out of the moment a little bit. But no, like, no faking your own death. No making your, you know, partner of choice think that they're going to die. None of this. Is it like, are we that desensitized as a culture that you can't just like hire a string quartet and get down on one knee for fuck's sake? No, it's the YouTube. This is the YouTube generation. (laughs) Everything has got to be, I mean, you saw, you were in your mall and you videotaped the uh, Gangnam style thing going on. Yes, that happened. That's what, mall. that's what, that's what we're in, break. that's what we're in the so middle much. of. You know what? Go to the mall and do the Gangnam style dance and then propose to her at the end of that. You're still going to get on YouTube. You're less of an asshole. Unless she really hates that song. But you're, you're still less of an asshole than making her think she's going to die. Cause then it's just, well, that was, I, I really hate that song, but whatever as opposed to, oh my God, I'm going to die. <sighs> Dudes, yeah, if no, you want a girl to marry you, don't be a dick bag to her. That shouldn't be hard. I shouldn't have to tell you that. No, you shouldn't, but you do. <sighs> that should go without saying. If you want a girl, that's the new rule. No one wants to see your dick. There's nothing sexy at the Walmart. If you want a girl to marry you, don't be a dick bag to her. New rule. Boom. So we got something completely different next. Um, something completely different. Pretty much, yeah. Um, so church is where you go. And God sees you, right? That that's that's the, the whole idea. You go to church and, and God God is present and he, he sees you. That's um, that's the deal, right? Typically God sees you all the time. I know, but that's that's where you go to, you know, to chat. Right? No. Well, yeah, sure, fine. Well Well, I don't think he wants you to show up naked. God sees you. I just don't think he needs to see that much of you at all times. Police in Beaumont arrested a man who showed up intoxicated at the Lighthouse Worship Center and proceeded to strip completely naked. Pastor James Maccabee says the stranger ran into the church at the end of a special prayer service Friday, beating the pulpit and yelling. Later stripped off all his clothes, screaming that he was on PCP, Several male congregants subdued him at the back of the church as he made sexual gestures and held him until the police arrived. 23-year-old Wayman Smith is being held on misdemeanor charges at the Jefferson County Jail. Huh. (laughs) You know, I think had we been there, that kind of would have been our reaction. We're so damn desensitized. It would have have been like... Like You and me would totally just be sitting in the back like, huh. Huh. All right. What else you got? <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is just he, he. I mean, if he was telling the truth about the PCP, that kind of explains it. I, I did. Is that what happens? You get on PCP and you feel the need to announce it to everyone. I thought you got on PCP and got really psychotic and violent because at Vampire Games, isn't that always the excuse when yeah. somebody uses it's potents and stuff. Oh, it was someone on PCP. Man. Like, strength and rage. Considering That's like the go Harper excuse, dude, on PCP. I hope not, considering the article says he made sexual gestures, which I take to mean grabbing his crotch, which, if that holds true, owie. Oh, I was thinking more like gestures I won't make on the air, but you know, the like. Uh, the rude gestures with the tongue in the cheek and yeah, no, that's, we're not doing, that's yeah, what I assumed. Uh, what do you think God makes of this? So weird we have to ask that question, but yeah, you suppose God is sitting there going, well, no, you know what God was, God did? Huh? Yeah. I think there are enough situations in which we are doing it wrong for God to get upset about that something like this probably doesn't even register on his radar anymore. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's enough ways that we are fucking up the God thing that this is small potatoes. Yes. Very. I, 
I mean, God's not going to be offended by what you look like naked because he made you that way. He knows. So it's not like he's going to be grossed out. But I uh, think maybe the simulated blowjob might might get make him a little cranky. Yeah. You know, he's that that's that's just rude. That is. I mean, technically you say you go to church and that is God's house and you don't go to somebody's house and act like that. I love how he he ran into the ch- ran into the to the pulpit and started yelling. He did all this yelling at the pulpit. I can imagine there's some little old lady in the back going, oh, "This is the most lively sermon I've heard in years." He really yeah. believes what he's talking well, about. I don't want the attention of the room? That's where you go. Honey, what's PCP and where can I get some? I, he seems to be very happy with it. We're going to start putting PCP in the communion wafers, get the congregation more lively. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's, uh, so, um, we've had a spate on this show of people with guns doing stupid things in public. Yeah. And we've got another one. And this is from Auburn. I think it's Auburn, Miss, no, Auburn, uh, Seattle, Washington is is the uh, papers came from. So I think it's Auburn, Washington. Auburn, Washington. There you go. I smart. I know things. Um, that was the longest dateline ever in the history of news. <laughs> dateline, Auburn, Mississippi. No, wait, maybe Washington. Wait, wait, Hold on, let me look. Right. Yeah, it's Washington. <laughs> Man, dateline. Sh- somebody here. Music lover shoots up Jack in the Box in Auburn. Customer fired a shot through the drive through window at Jack in the Box. No one was hurt. Early Friday, after the clerk told the customer he couldn't hear his order over the loud music in the car. Shooting occurred 2.55 a.m. Friday when a car blaring loud music pulled into the Jack in the Box. And uh, the uh, customer in the car gave his order, but the clerk told him he couldn't hear it over the music. When the car pulled up the window, the customer pulled out a gun and fired a round through the glass. No one was hit. Um, police arrived on the scene, they developed information they believed to help identify the suspect. Not going to get you your order any faster, because he's no. not going to be able to hear you over the gunshot either. No. That's louder than your music. Well, the- also, they're going to arrest you. Yeah. And, and he's not going to be able to hear you while he's laying on the floor in terror. Yeah. This is not an efficient form of complaint. Like if you want to complain about service, there are ways to do it. You have to be efficient. You have to, you have to be goal oriented. This was not a goal oriented response. Well, it, you know, uh, to be on the fair side, that fucking Jack in the box thing is creepy as shit. I have taken it. I don't think I've seen a Jack in the box in years. They still have them on the West coast. I would have taken a shot at the fucker too. Just to be on this, just be well, fair. No, but he didn't shoot at the no, jack didn't. in the box. He shot at the fucking window. Yeah. Unless all the employees have to wear that head, that's not justified. Yeah, I know. That's a waste of a shot, isn't it? I would have shot in the fucking jack in the box. But no, seriously, how does this help? You wait, you, you are going to go to jail over your breakfast burrito. All because you couldn't turn down your fucking radio. Damn kids and your loud music. You're sitting. It's it's like that. You're sitting in lockup. It's like, what are you in for? Stealing. What are you in for? I cut a guy. What are you in for? Breakfast burrito. <laughs> it just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's. <clears throat> not not a proportionate or efficient response. Speaking of not proportionate or efficient responses, um, and it's Florida. Uh, you ever had a problem with a coworker? <laughs> yeah, once. T- I, they're all dead. You, you, <laughs> you shouldn't joke considering this story. How, how no. do you, you normally have procedures for handling such things, right? Yes. Okay. Um, do those procedures include hit men? by chance not officially well uh someone forgot to tell the hillsborough county um education department about that because uh hillsborough teacher tried to have another teacher killed these are teachers these are people that work with your children man on the phone with plants awesome. 
Man on the phone with Plant City Police had a strange tale to tell. A Bloomingdale High School teacher, the man said, had tried to hire him to kill someone. Uh, he was pretty sure the teacher, a longtime friend, wasn't joking. Police didn't get involved. He was afraid someone would wind up dead. And there was more. The target was another teacher. Um, James J. Pepe. Is that Pepe? I think that's Pepe. James J. Pepe of Brandon yeah. was uh, on a charge of solicitation of first degree murder. 55, he's accused of trying to hire a hitman uh, to kill Robert Meredith, who had been with the school district for 12 years. Um, he, all right, I'm trying to find out why he would do this. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for is motive. He said, uh, Pepe said, in recent years, the teacher felt threatened, had become suspicious of his peers. Pepe thought Meredith was talking behind his back and spreading rumors that he was a child molester. Everything that was happening in Pepe's life, he was blaming on the victim. You know what's a great way to deal with being accused of a felony? A lawsuit. Committing a felony. Yeah, that doesn't, yeah. You, this, yeah. That's a great way to deal with being accused of a felony. Just commit a whole other felony. It's like, you know, the body can only concentrate on one kind of pain at a time. So, like, if you break your thumb, you forget about your toothache for a few minutes. Well, like, people can only concentrate on one ridiculous scandal at a time so if you fucking kill a guy nobody's thinking about that child molestation thing anymore because you fucking killed a guy someone this is not thinking the problem through no and also if you're going to get a hitman don't try to hire your drinking buddy because nine times out of ten, he's probably not down to do that whole the professional thing. Yeah, well, but the, see, that's a thorny area because I mean, you want to hire somebody, you know, and trust because you go to a stranger that could be an undercover cop. We've all seen the whole nine yards. So you don't want to go to a stranger because that could go really wrong. That could go like the online dating way and that could be bad. But of the people you know, you have to choose carefully. Like, I know exactly who I'd go to if I needed yeah, somebody. Yeah, me too, to. actually. Yeah, that, that, that's the same. I know thing. the person I would go to if I needed somebody to disappear. Yep, me too. I'm not going to tell you who it is because I don't either. want y'all to see him coming. Yeah. But I have that person. And he is ready and willing. And he wouldn't tell. I don't know if that's sad or prudent. On our part. Yes. Yeah. That's... <sighs> Well, we have more, and this is also Hernando, Cal Hernando is California. Okay, so this is from Hernando, California, Brooksville. Um, police, man shot, empty bank. What is it with people shooting shit this week? Man was arrested Thursday following allegations he tried to steal money from a bank after hours and fired a bullet into the unoccupied building. Shaheed Muhammad Kalam, 22, deposited a thousand dollar stolen forged check at 3 a.m. and attempted to withdraw cash from the ATM. The ATM he, uh, he used was expired and he was trying to use an improper personal identification of uh, the ATM card he was using was expired, trying to use an improper personal identification number. Machine took the card. So Kalim responded by backing his vehicle against the wall, tied a seatbelt to the ATM and attempted to rip it from the wall. The tactic didn't work, so he used a stolen 25 caliber handgun and fired around through the front door of the bank, which shattered the glass. He didn't get any cash, but the ATM and the building were damaged. The stolen ATM card didn't work. By the way, you're on camera because all ATMs have cameras in them. Yes. So your solution is to set up a fucking redneck tow truck. <laughs> To rip the ATM right the fuck out of the wall. <laughs> Holy shit, was that a bad idea? I'm pretty sure the seatbelt's gonna give before the ATM. Yeah, yeah, those things are pretty durable. And also, what? why was he shooting into the bank? Was he... Presumably to try and get in, because he shot at the glass. So presumably to try and get into the bank. But you know what? <laughs> the vault's locked too, and that shit's bulletproof. I can no, honestly, given this guy's level of, of intelligence, maybe he was shooting into the bank to get the attention of the ghosts who live there to come and help him. 
Maybe he thought he could take the bank hostage. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I mean, corporations are people now. So, so banks are hostages. That raises a thorny question. Can you take your local Bank of America branch hostage? Legally, yes, actually. Citizen, mm. Citizens United says legally you can kidnap a bank so i'm saying corporations are people now so yeah so if you have like a house jack can you just fucking kidnap the local burger king and hold it for ransom hold and be like if you ever want to see your flame broil <laughs> whopper again you would pay me this amount of money i don't know where you would hide a burger king exactly but I'm intrigued by the notion. Our last story this week comes from Wisconsin. Do you remember Chappelle's show? Yes. Do you remember Rick James? Yes. This is what I was saying was inevitable. It had to happen. Man busted for curbside sex with old couch Fuck your couch. Wisconsin man has right. been accused of having sex with an abandoned couch. I have a problem with the terminology here. Oh, you cannot have sex with a couch. He tries. You can, can help a couch. <laughs> but you cannot. Ha having sex is a term that means Two people taking part, whether willingly or not. It, it's, words have meanings. Words have meanings, yes. And those words don't mean that. Like, you can hump a couch. You can do dirty, lascivious things to a couch. You cannot have sex with a couch because the couch cannot participate, hence the with. Oh, God. The human furniture coupling was interrupted earlier this month when an off-duty cop out jogging late one night spotted Jared Strader, 46, trysting with the yellow couch, which had been left on a Waukesha curb. How do I know how to say Waukesha, but I can't say any other fucking word? Jesus. Um, Strader's pictured in the adjacent mugshot, and yeah, big screen. Hi there. Also, like... Just yeah. fuck your own couch. You don't yep. know where that couch has been. <laughs> As th this is the, the beautiful part. As detailed in the criminal complaint, uh, Officer Edwards reported seeing a subject leaning on the couch. Facing down, looks like he was having sexual relations with someone on the couch. Cop noted he could see the male's hips thrusting up and down. As he approached the couch, Edwards yelled, this is the quote of the story, What are you doing? <laughs> Strader investigators allege responded by jumping up and running away as Strader fled. Eric's reported he, quote, could see that defendant's penis was erect. None of this would be a problem if the invisible woman wasn't such a bitch and it just owned up. <laughs> She's all, no, Reed would never forgive me. How That's you, why you don't fuck the invisible woman, people. How she do you sell your ass out. How do you get to a point in your life where you, you, you're fucking a couch? You're fucking a, you're fucking a couch. How do you get to the point where you're fucking a random couch in the street? Because you have to realize that when you have sex with a couch, you're having sex with everyone else that couch has ever had sex with. And when it's a random couch in the street... How long has that couch been working that corner? You don't know. Do you use a condom or scotch guard? I... <laughs> I feel like scotch guard would be bad for the delicate skin in that area. You definitely use Febreze. Without a doubt. Who just and, walks uh, down the street and sees a couch and goes... I'm fucking that. Yeah, like, 
what has gone wrong in your brain that you're walking down the street and you see an abandoned couch and you get turned on? Something says this was a spontaneous act because I don't believe he was spending well, days on days stalking the couch. Yeah, like you don't case the abandoned couch. Like this isn't if this was premeditated, it's even worse. But I. Yeah. I, I just I. Just choose your upholstered sexual partners very carefully, is all I'm saying. Red Jacquard center, will chafe. Yeah. Jacquard and Tweed will chafe. But everybody knows those microfibers are the whores of the town. Rent a center is completely legal, is all I'm saying. Rent a center. Aww. Rent a Great. center is. is Makes nobody ever want to rent a couch again in their life. Say it. So, yeah, I guess I guess the first thing we learned tonight is. Um, fuck your couch. That terminology matters, I guess. Is this is Words not have meetings. This is not sex. This is just stupid. We learned that the invisible woman is a fucking bitch. She is totally. Um, she will burn you. We learn if you want to marry someone. The quickest, Don't be a dick bag to them. The fastest way to a woman's heart is not stopping it. I just, you asshole. <sighs> We've learned that um, God God sees everything, but it, you know, it's the gestures matter. Gestures matter, mm. and also. Probably church sermons would be a lot more uh, lively with PCP. I guess we figured that one out. Um, we've we've learned that guns do not get you your burrito faster. No, no, that is not an efficient or proportionate response. And also, if you're going to fire a gun at Jack in the Box, shoot the fucking clown. For God's sake, at least make it count. And if you have a gun and you want to steal from the bank, do it while it's open. Yes. You... And also, what was the plan if he managed to rip the ATM out of the wall? Was he going to take it with him? You have it. Was he going to drag that fucking ATM down the street behind his car? Because that's going to be obvious. People are going to notice that. You haven't seen Breaking Bad yet, have you? No. That's actually covered in Breaking Bad. Awesome. <laughs> And finally, we learned tonight, if you need to have someone killed, plan ahead. Know who your go-to guy is. Have your emergency contact ready. Right. Like they always say, like, have your medical information ready. Have your next of kin. Have your emergency contact. Have your chosen hitman ready. I'm really sorry. That's my laundry being finished in the dryer. Um, no, it's have, ghosts. Have your chosen murderer of foes ready yeah fine no fi know who your assassination buddy is you know yes do you have your exit buddy fucking a couch my god that oh, happened i've just got a mashup in my head of a guy you know what's gonna happen to top this a guy's going to take a recliner up on a plane, fake a plane crash while he's trying to propose to it. I think that's the day we retire. <laughs>